It was the number one podcast streamed worldwide. The way this podcast is designed is to take you along and find out just like I found out. Do not call me again. Okay. And it's been called the true crime podcast to binge in 2020. An, an unsolved murder that is in my hometown in North Carolina. Delia D'Ambra is turning back time in Audio Chuck's counter clock to find new clues in hopes of solving the 22 year old mystery of who killed Denise Johnson. Digging up new leads, re interviewing persons of interest even though there's never been like an official person of interest name. Because of Delia's work, the district attorney there even took notice and is reopening the case. But more than that, season one got worldwide attention. It, when it went number one and it stayed there, um, I just was thinking, wow, this is a whole nother level. And unlike other stories, Dila is digging in real time. And there's no Wikipedia page that you can go and find out what the end is. We all want like the definitive answer of like what happened, what happened. When, but when there is this little bit of a window, you can kind of create your own path of like your theory. Ella? Some people have not told the truth. I've gotten page on messages, like going through the evidence, people being like, this points to this, like, it should, like, there are people out there that really get into it. She's working on season two right now, and she says it's coming out later this year. They're just going to be completely blown away by it. The story's good. But through it all, Delia says stepping up to help Denise's family when they felt forgotten is the biggest takeaway. Specifically, Donnie Johnson tells me, she's like, up until this point, like, you have given me so much peace. This show has given me so much peace. I feel like I've come to terms. But there are still unanswered questions. You can listen to the first season now. And while you wait for season two, Delia has a new audio Chuck thriller, Park Predators, streaming starting July 7th.